welcome to bala reva ue path youtube channel this is the channel to explore only about ue path subscribe the channel and press the bell icon never miss the update today we are going to see how to add the values in the dictionary first of all we are going to see what is dictionary dictionary is a collection of key and value pairs when creating a dictionary we need to specify the type for key and value dictionary provides fast lookup for values using key keys in the dictionary must be unique many ways to add the values into the dictionary but here we are going to see using assign activity add to collection invoke method and finally using a microsoft activity add to dictionary let us go to the first one so now we are going to see how to add the values using assign activity okay before we go with the example so we are going to add only these value into the dictionary the dictionary is having a two parameter objects one is key another one is value the key whatever the data type you can able to select and same as to value so now the name here we are going to add the name as a key and total marks as a value so the name is we are going to use string and total mark i'm going to use int 32 okay first we have to declare a variable so before that i'm going to create a sequence so i put a name as 01 dot dot dictionary okay so i'm going to set as start node okay and below here i'm going to create a variable this is dic marks okay and we have to select the variable type so browse the type and here we are going to select the dictionary data type see it is a generic so first we have to specify the key what is the data type for key here the data type is string and the value is int 32 okay so we declare the variable so after that we have to create an instance of a activity so here i'm going to create an instance dick using assign activity and new dictionary of string and value type is 32 so we have created an instance of the activity and now i'm going to assign the value so first dic marks of here we have to specify the key now the key is string okay so what is the value we are going to add we are going to add bala okay bala and the value is 80 value is 80 so we have to make sure the dictionary variable is having the value or not so i'm going to use message box activity i'm going, going to display the count of the items to string okay i'm going to execute run run it has one element okay so i'm going to add two more values so two times I'm going to do a copy paste and here is Reva and the value is 90 okay the value is 90 and here is 100 the name is Harini okay I'm going to execute run see it's 3 2 we can, we can able to see the value i'm going to put a breakpoint and i'm going to debug the workflow and in the local panel we can able to see our variable 
when you press here you can able to see the value what what are the values the variable kept it okay dictionary and bala reva and harini okay this is one of the way we can able to store the value into the dictionary next second we are going to see using add collection activity okay so i'm going to create an another sequence let's give the same dictionary okay i'm going to set as start node and we are going to use so before that i'm going to add the same okay I'm going to create a DIC mark, and already we have the dictionary variable data type in the list. I'm going to select the same, okay? The same as we need to create an instance of the variable DIC mark and new dictionary of string. comma int 32 that's all so we have created a variable next i'm going to use add to collection okay before we go to use the add to collection you need to know about a type of an argument type is called key value pair what is key value pair key value pair class stores a pair of values in a single list so it will store only one single list this is single list see this one is a single list okay but dictionary normally it keeps only two columns okay so i'm going to change it as key value pair key value pair and we know very well the key type is string and value type is int 32 okay and our collection is a variable name dic mark and item we are going to give new key value pair of string comma int 32 and after that create a bracket and here you have to specify the key name as bala and comma the value is 80 okay now we have added one item so i'm going to verify the dictionary variable has the items are not using a count property okay i'm going to run the workflow so it has one value okay so i'm going to add other two values using the same but only thing is i'm going to change the key and value values and reva and it's 90 and add to collection here and here is harini harini the value is 100 okay I think this is ninety, yeah. So eighty, ninety, hundred. So I'm going to execute. We have to get three elements. Yes, we have a three, and we can able to see what it has the value. Going to debug mode, and in the local panel, this is our variable, and you can see it has a three values. Okay. So now we are going to see invoke method. 
I'm going to create a sequence. It's a zero three dot dictionary dictionary set as start node and now I'm going to store these values. Here is different data types. Previously we used string and integer and here we are going to use integer and integer. The order number is integer that means in 32 and the order value is also integer. I'm going to use int 32. Okay, we can see how to add these values. So I'm going to call it as DAC orders. Okay, and we have to select the dictionary variable data type as dictionary here and int 32 and int 32 okay and we need to create an instance of the variable DAC and new dictionary of int 32 comma int 32 okay the ins instance is done and we are going to use invoke method okay here is the invoke method in the invoke method our target object is our variable okay in the dictionary we have a method called add so using this add method we can able to add the values so i have specified the method name and we have to go the parameter name and click here by default it has a string but we are going to add int the key the first parameter is key so what is the key value it is one two three eight hundred okay the key value is one and the value data type is the 32 and this is 800 okay okay can we verify it yes so dig order dot count dot to string okay so i'm going to run the process yes it has one value okay so now i'm going to add other two values okay i'm going to change only in the parameter it is two and it is 900 and here is three and this is thousand okay so can we verify it yes see already yes it has a uh, three items so we can see in the we can see the value okay debug yes in the local panel we can able to see our variable when we press here see there's a three values okay three set of values a key value key value key value okay okay this is one of the way finally we are going to see using microsoft add to dictionary activity so i'm going to create one more sequence and it's the last sequence 04 dot dictionary okay i'm going to set as note we can arrange it okay i can move this here here and here you can keep it here okay and finally here it should be from here okay see this is test one you don't want to see this okay so before we are go with uh, an example you must have to install the package called Microsoft activities extension already I have installed so but you have to go all packages and you have to type Microsoft Microsoft and when you scroll down 
see here Microsoft activities extension the version you can able to see here okay you must have to install this one and after this now we are going to store these values the first one is integer another one is date so the key is int32 and the value type is date data type okay the same as I'm going to create a we can call it as uh, detail dictionary order detail order detail so we have to select the variable type as dictionary dictionary and the key is int 32 and this one is the date and time ah, we could not able to see the date and time so what we have to do again we have to browse the type okay and here you have to select the date and time and date and time is here okay okay so the same as we have to create an instance of the variable DAC order detail and you have to give new dictionary of um, into 32 comma date and time okay yes we created a instance of the variable now we have to let me show from the begin have to go Microsoft activities extension statement you can able to see the add to dictionary when you drag this activity you can it will ask the what is the data type for the key and what is the data type for value so int 32 is okay we are going to use the same but the value type is date and time so we have to select the date time and okay so it will appear an activity here and the dictionary is our variable name dic order detail and what is the key it is one i think so yeah it's one and second may okay so we have to store the date and time like this way date and time you have to specify the year 2020 month 5 and 02 okay and we can verify with the variable it has the element or not element or items dic order detail counts dot to string okay so i'm going to execute this one yes it has one item okay good and now i'm going to add two more values here okay and this is second i think the value is 25th 4 and here is fourth month and here is 20 sorry 25th and here we have to change it as 3 and here is 4 and here is 20 okay you can run it yes it has a three element and we can see the value what it has in the variable put a breakpoint and debug the file yes here is our variable and press here see it has a three set of values the first one is fifth 25th and 20 okay so these are the ways we can able to insert the values into the dictionary variable thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon never miss the update